to my F1 2019 career mode. Let's play this part number 20, and today we will be starting season number 2 with the number 2 with the Melbourne Grand Prix. And, uh, let's check out my uh, details. Okay, so the, they want me to minimize at the 14th, max race position 16th. I'll be the second driver, gold medium. Perks, bonus. Okay, and they want me to qualify 15th or better. That's pretty easy. And oh my God! Oh holy! I forgot about the silly season. Bottas is now going to Alfa Romeo to replace Raikkonen. Vettel is now going to Red Bull to replace Bottas. Leclerc is going to Racing Point to replace Perez. Perez is moving to Ferrari to replace Vettel. Stroll has been signed to Ferrari to replace Leclerc. And Raikkonen is going to Williams because Kubica got like. Yo! <laughs> oh my god, can make a good handle enough of the stress of being with a crappy team. Man, that's if it were me, this is probably what I'd invest in. Okay, so now this is where I'm gonna start going into my aerodynamics upgrades now because I can actually be able to do stuff. I thought there was enough points resource points for me to do that. Guess not. So let me see if I can try to add another one. And I really wanna Do what? Let me go back down here to arrow to the arrow. Get this instant upgrade in. Because I really need to work on my aerodynamics right now. Because I, I really need a vehicle performance. And we officially have everything back to zero, which is good. Gearbox, the same thing. Alright, everything is all good to go. And I'm just curious what is this going to say? So it's saying this. So here's how it is. Hamilton going to stay number Mercedes, Bottas out for a mail, Vettel at Red Bull, Leclerc at Racing Point, Verstappen staying at Red Bull, Gasly staying at Mercedes, I'm st my team Air Cardo still at Haas, Grosjean Magnussen still at Haas, Sites and Norris still at McLaren, Perez and Stroll are now the new ones in Ferrari. Reichen's new at Williams. Giovinazzi stayed at Alfa Romeo. Albon stayed at Toro Rosso. Russell stayed at Williams. I stayed with Renault. Butler stayed with uh, Racing Point, and Weber stayed with Toro Rosso. So it's pretty set up now. And oh, do I really want the rivalry's already lost with uh. It's already lost with Giovinazzi because he can literally get it with the, from the qualifying performance. So, I'm going to get that reputation up this year. That's my goal. And also, get myself to improve. So, yeah, let me go do my practices and qualifying. I'll see you, I'll, I shall see y'all on the grid. They say that even a second is an eternity in Formula One, so going four winter months with no racing at all has seemed a very long time indeed. We're back though in Melbourne, home of the Australian Grand Prix since 1996. Just south of Melbourne's downtown business centre is the one and only Albert Park circuit. 3.3 miles of public roads, closed for the weekend of course, make for a bumpy circuit with little undulation. There are 16 corners around the lake and a couple of good passing opportunities here as well. Thanks in part to the DRS zones into turns 1, 3 and 13. I'm joined today in the commentary box as I will be throughout this season by a great racing driver. Former F1 competitor, former world champion and as he tells me all too often, an all-round top chap. It's the one and only Anthony Davidson. 
And tell me, here we are, first Grand Prix of the season, first time racing these cars. What are the big questions that need to be answered here, in your view? Oh, thanks, Crofty. It's a real privilege to be here, and I can't wait to see what's in store for us this season. Now, to answer your question, one of the biggest things is reliability. Formula One cars are full of very sophisticated but also very sensitive technology, and this first Grand Prix of the season is going to push them to the limits. So the most important thing today is to stay out of trouble, get to the end of the race and keep everything in good condition. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Gasly, Sergio Perez, Anne Faber, Leclerc, Russell, Gardner, and Kevin Magnussen. Sainz, Raikkonen, Devon Butler, and Albon, Grosjean, Stroll, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Valtteri Bottas. Ricardo and Lando Norris starts from the back of the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. We've qualified above where we expect it to be, so try your best to hold on to this position in the race. So we ended up qualified P number 9, like 7 positions above where the goal they wanted us. But it was kind of odd seeing Lance Stroll back in the lineup for for me, honestly, because like he got kicked out of the ride for race point because of Butler or because of Weber. Wait, well, no, because of Butler because Kuv Kvyat Kvyat got kicked out because of Weber, who is still out. So him and Kubica don't have a ride. It's so f surprising to see Ferrari so changed up. But yeah, so uh, we're gonna go with the high tire management. We're gonna put on lap number seven from the softs to the mediums. And uh, softs to the mediums is, is like just check, so let's go start this race. <laughs> oh my god, George Russell starting eighth. And the Australia Grand Prix is now officially underway. Just to make some contact me. Send me off onto the grass. My jerk. What's he gonna do here? I kind of pitched him there towards, off the track, so. Honestly, I can put the blame on me in here. Off the track a little back there. on George Russell now, and Sergio Perez is up there at 7th. Okay, I don't know who locked up, which looked like Leclerc, and I'm going to get by Russell for 8th. Try to adjust my DRS settings there. Right. 
Let's hurry up, get this front wing on in it. So we get in and out. Why is Grosjean dead last? Exit, exit now. It's very serious. I really need to ask for a faster pick pit stop. So if I can find some faster pit stops, I can break it back. We're up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. Be careful with the front wing. You've taken some minor damage. Coming to complete the 8th, 7th lap, we're going to go around. George Russell is in the pits. In the middle, coming out of the out of boxing. So, let's see if we can aim more spots after this. Alright, with some more cars in the pits. We got at least three we're going to get. Two at least. Oh, the third one's Magnuson. I had a feeling I was even going to get Magnuson. Because of what happened. It's a very slow. to the car ahead is 1.8 seconds. Come on, Alvon, leave me alone. And Ricardo's in the pits. Daniel's in for his stop. Let's see what spots we get back. I just want to get the points. There's a good amount of independence in this lap. I don't know, maybe we're in here Okay, I feel like we're gonna pit after this. I still feel like there's gonna be more pit. Gonna shut the door now, but I'm going to the corner. It's not like he's gonna get DRS off of me. Good ass, he just did.
less than a lap of fuel now. The tank is empty. As y'all know, the way flags out, but I'm also trying to... Whoa, where did I get George Russell come from? Where did he come from? The race is already over, and I lost my front wing. Like, oh, that's why, because my whole front wing's all off. Seems they fixed whatever the problem was. They're coming back up to speed. Roshan's gonna get by me. Mercedes team pulled out a fantastic performance today. They should be proud. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalize on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So, let's review the driver's standings. After an incredible performance, Lewis Hamilton secures the top spot in the Drivers' Championship. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Lance Stroll certainly put in an impressive performance today.
amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. I don't really call it amazing. Devin did much better in today's race than he did in qualifying. Were you expecting that? Straight up, you can never expect them. Like did you that. have the wrong fuel strategy today, or was it your management? Of course. Of course. You had a bit of a rivalry going on, but it looks like he bested you. You left some body work out there on the track. Were you struggling for grip? Not gonna mention anything because I already lost my Appreciate your time. That again. Joe, Joe Manazzi beat me in the rivalry, but I'm still at a draw with Ricardo, but I ain't gonna redo that Joe Manazzi rivalry so much. And I should be getting some resource points for completing that team goal that was out or not. But, oh, it's like two weeks. My god, what? What I'd invest in. Really? Uh, can I really? You see, you can read. No, I'm losing. to the next race which is at where again we're gonna be going to a bahring for the bahring grand prix i don't know if the track is all that well but uh yeah tune in for that this is nascar fan 10 2048 i shall see 